What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video. Today we are looking at D1 Milano. This is a brand that I've had on the channel before. I've actually reviewed their automatic version with a blue dial on a bracelet. This is their Mecha Quartz Chronograph. Before I get into it though, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. So as I mentioned, this is their Mecha Quartz Chronograph. This was sent to the channel. I do not need to return it, so please keep that in mind. It comes in the exact same packaging as the automatic. It comes with an outer cardboard box, inner cardboard box, which is textured, signed D1 Milano right on the outside there, on the inside as well. Uh, inside you get a little uh, uh, card here that just gives you some information on the strap then information on operation of the watch and the warranty in this little paper envelope. Um, other than that, that's all that comes in the box, so we'll just put that aside. Inside is sort of like a little leatherette. You get a hang tag on here as well, um, but that is pretty much it. And here is the watch. So as I mentioned, this is a uh, Mecha Quartz Chronograph. So this is, uh, I have it running already, so you can see that there is a sweep to that uh, chronograph second hand. Uh, this gets a Seiko VH, uh, excuse me, VK63, which is the uh, chronograph version of their Mecha Quartz movements. Um, so Mecha Quartz is essentially just a combination of mechanical and quartz. The actual uh, chronograph runs off of a mechanical module. Uh, so that's how you get that nice sweep second uh, hand right there on the chronograph. The uh, second hand for the movement is uh, actually right there as well. Um, so then you, you do not get a uh, sweep second on that. It does tick away as you can see. Um, a lot of attention to detail on this watch. A lot of um, D1 Milano's watches and basically all of their watches are sort of homages to integrated bracelet watches. Not a specific watch. However, uh, you know, a, a number of watches like the Nautilus, the Overseas and the, the Royal Oak. So you get a lot of that inspiration in design throughout. And as you can see, this is a chronograph and right off the bat, you can see these pushers right here, sort of uh, an homage to the Royal Oak Offshore. Uh, those are a lot chunkier on those watches because this is only a 41 millimeter watch, uh, a pretty thin uh, 11 millimeters thick. So it's 41.5 millimeters wide and, and 11 millimeters thick. So you do benefit from this being a Mecha Quartz chronograph. But as I said, these uh, are very much um, very similar to the uh, offshore. Uh, and of course, the bezel itself, which is octagonal in shape, uh, you see that throughout the entire watch, uh, like a little bit of a theme. Uh, there's some scalloped edges, which are polished. Uh, a lot of uh, Royal Oak in this as well, and also the um, the uh, uh, Nautilus. And then the side profile, you get a lot of, um, I would say, Overseas and Royal Oak as well. Uh, and then the case back, of course, again, keeping with that shape, eight-sided, and then you get uh, eight screws uh, in, the, in the back. So 50 meters water resistance, and then the crown, uh, again, that octagonal shape, and it is not signed, but it, it you know, you get that shape, so it's sort of in keeping with that. Really nice strap on here, actually, very nice strap. Um, I always say to buy the, uh, if you're going to buy a watch, buy it on the bracelet. I still say that this is really nice. They make this essentially for the same price on a bracelet, and I would go for the bracelet if you were, um, if you were going to get this. However, if you don't like bracelets, then that's another thing. So uh, this is a rubber strap, very nice rubber strap on here. And you can see it tapers very nicely all the way down to the buckle, uh, it tapers on both sides. So the width of the strap actually tapers down really nicely. And it is uh, almost the same width as the exact same width as the case uh, where it meets the case. So that is really nice. Um, and it tapers, as I mentioned, it tapers down to this really nice brushed buckle, which is also signed as you can see right there. Uh, double deployment and it pops really out really nicely. It just works very nicely. It's, uh, it feels very nice and, and it makes a nice sound. Um, and then of course the keeper is actually signed as well. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll try and get a photo of it if you can't, but looks really nice. Uh, and then the, the strap is signed D1 on both sides on the interior of the strap. Just a, a really nice strap, uh, very well made. 
Now, the dial itself has a lot of detail on it as well. It is a matte black dial. You get a date right here uh, between the four and five o'clock position. It is color matched. And then the actual uh, script on the, on the date itself is color matched as well. So it's in silver, uh, which is a really nice touch. Applied indices, sunken sub dials. These skeletonized hands are sort of industrial looking. They look great. I really like that detail on this. Uh, the sunken sub dials also have a silver ring around them, uh, silver hands to match the hour and minute hands, uh, and you get a blue accent on that blue second hand of the chronograph. A lot of attention to detail, of course. Um, uh, just a really good looking watch. This is a, a very attractive watch in my opinion. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's very handsome, uh, and I've executed this dial very well. Um, and uh, like I said, and it does fly back, it centers right at the uh, 12 o'clock position, uh, looks very, very nice. AR coating on this sapphire crystal, it is a flat sapphire crystal, um, and 11 millimeters thick, so this wears very nicely. So I'm gonna throw it on my wrist so you could see. Uh, very quickly though, I am wearing today Sacred Crafts. This is a really cool watch that is made out of recycled materials. So essentially the entire watch is made out of recycled materials. This is recycled bronze. Um, there is elements of, um, it's almost like a, their own proprietary uh, material and this is made out of uh, recycled fishing nets. The bronze is made out of recycled materials as well. We'll get back to this. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a video on this pretty soon, but uh, a very interesting watch. Uh, and you get an automatic uh, ETA movement in there, which uh, which has a bronze um, uh, rotor on it, which is very interesting as well. So, the uh, D1 Milano on my seven and a half inch wrist, uh, 41.5 millimeters. This does not wear very large. It wears like a 41.5 millimeter watch. Uh, you, um, like I said, I would always go for the bracelet on a watch like this, just because uh, the bracelet is going to offer you a little bit more value and then you could always get the strap uh, for versatility. It does wear larger because of the overhang, that overhang right there. So this, you know, if you measure from this out, uh, this male uh, end link to this male end link, it comes out around 57 millimeters. So that is large um, and you cannot uh, press that down obviously because they don't articulate. So if you do have a small wrist, this will wear larger on you, um, but it does it does fit very nicely on my seven and a half inch wrist, and I think it would wear maybe uh, a little bit uh, a little bit better on someone with a larger wrist, maybe a, a little bit smaller. Someone can pull it off, but it would be a little bit difficult. Um, but in general, a very nice watch. I think it's a very good looking watch, a very well made watch. It's finished very nicely, uh, and I really like that it is a uh, Mecca quartz. This does not get loom, so we're not gonna be doing a loom shot. Price on this is $445. Uh, however, they do offer specials from time to time. Uh, that is on the more expensive side for a Mecha Quartz chronograph. However, considering that it is a integrated bracelet watch, it has a lot of attention to detail, um, and generally just a very good looking watch. If you want a watch that is sort of uh, an homage to those other watches that I mentioned, like the Royal Oak and the Nautilus, but you don't want something that's in a direct homage, and you don't want something that looks like a, a AP on your wrist, uh, and it's just a, you know, they've put another name on the dial. This is pretty much what you, you need to go for, something like this, uh, which is sort of taking from uh, different inspirations and putting it all together into one watch. Uh, I own a AP Royal Oak and I have a Vastron Overseas. They all wear like this, uh, very similarly to this. So they wear a little bit larger than their uh, specs and that's because of the integration of the bracelet. Even if you have it on the bracelet or if you have it on a strap, it does wear a little bit larger. Um, so definitely keep that in mind. But in general, a very handsome watch uh, and I think this is uh, definitely something that if someone is in the market for an integrated bracelet watch and they don't want to spend a ton of money or they don't have a money, uh, the money to spend, this is a really good alternative because it's very well made um, and it's a very good looking watch. But tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I will be wearing this over the next few weeks and I will probably do an update on this uh, uh, and I'll bring it into other videos as I normally do. Uh, but a really cool watch. 
uh, in my opinion, a good looking watch on the more expensive side, obviously, uh, but uh, a lot of uniqueness to it. So uh, sort of warranted the price a little bit. Uh, but again, tell me what you think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is very helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on and I'll catch you guys in the next video.